make sure you watch the print send batch overview video for an explanation of all general information like the email features, how to use these actions over here, and all the other buttons and tools you find in the print send batch area. Unfortunately, there comes that time when you have to reach out to a client and remind them that they're past due and you'd like to get paid sometime soon. The collection letter tab lets you easily send out collection letters to multiple clients at once. The filter up top allows you to filter clients by aged balances here in this field. You have options for over 30, over 60, over 90, and over 120. And those templates can actually be changed or edited or downloaded and viewed over here in the template editor under collection letters. For now let's go back to the print send batch collection letters. I'm going to change mine to over 60. Then I need to select a date for my letters. I'm going to go ahead and put today's date and I can put the AR threshold balance in here if I want to. You can also apply these other filters if you'd like. I'm going to leave them alone for mine and click search. You can see it only brought up two clients for mine. Now if I'm planning to use the email function here in the print send batch tool, I need to fill out the email information in here. I won't go over it in detail here because I do go over it in detail in the print send batch overview video here. But you do need to fill that out if you're going to use the email. If you don't plan to use email, you can forget that for now. You see that right here you have the breakdown of what filters you used. So if you wanted to get rid of any of those filters, you could X out of those from here. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here in front of us. You start out with your check boxes as usual. Then you have your client ID and client name. Then you'll notice that some of these clients have balances and columns other than the over 60, even though that's the filter we used. So of course we do have information in that over 60 because again, that's the filter we used, but it does show us the over 30 and over 90. And if they had aging balances in those, time frames they would be in those columns as well. But you can see they do have a balance in the over 120 column. So that's showing here. And they also show us the total. One thing you'll notice under the template column, if you hover over it, or if you make it wider because you can actually widen these, whichever you choose to do, but if you hover over it, you can see collection letter template 120. TPS is always going to grab the template for the highest aging balance. So even though I chose 60 days, you can see these clients are all going to have the 120 days template sent to them. Here in the exists column, we have no for both of these. So it's saying that we have not created these letters before. So that will need to be done before they can be downloaded or sent to them. And of course that can be done up here in the actions. Has email. In order to use any of the TPS email features, like sending invoices to your clients by way of email, you first have to have their email saved in the client properties. So this column here is letting you know whether you do or don't have their email saved. In this case, we do have their email saved in the client properties. If there were a no in this column, then you would need to go to that client's client properties and enter their email address before this tool would be able to send the collection letter via email. Printed, this column is letting you know whether you've actually downloaded this collection letter before for this client. It says no, so you have not. And we should know that because it also hasn't been created. So in order for it to be downloaded, it has to be created first. And has it been sent? No, it has not been sent via email to these clients, which also cannot happen until it has been created. So again, we need to create it before it can be downloaded or sent. So as with all the other tabs, our information here is set up kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. As I showed you before, you can make these wider or more narrow. If you go into the settings and into the columns section, you can add or take away some of the columns, just like an Excel spreadsheet. You could sort the information. We don't have a whole lot of information here to mess with, but you can put these in order alphabetically or move the information, you know, sort it basically. And then most of what you're going to be doing here is going to be with the actions button. So in this case, if we wanted to create these, we could use these actions here. We could download using these options here or send by way of email using these here. 
And if you don't already know how to do that, this is all covered in great detail here under the Print Send Batch main overview video. So please make sure that you watch that and become very familiar with how to use the Print Send Batch tool. Thank you so much for watching.